Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Age Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create a simple text animation inside of After Effects for beginners without using any third party plugin but with the help of very simple tech and logic behind the text animation. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics stuff and advanced then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses as well. All the links are available in the description and you can join my Motion Pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees. You'll get access to new videos, advanced motion graphic tutorials, blender tutorials, cinema code tutorials, project files and much more. And it will be a support for this channel as well and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel hit on that like button and don't forget to share with your friends so without wasting any much more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. First thing first, we will click on this new composition option. Then we will try to name our composition. Now usually I type name animation. Width is 1920. Height is going to be 180. So it will be a full HD video. Frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to choose one minute long. Even though our video is going to be our five second animation only, but we will do that later. Background color, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles of action. So we will get this kind of camera trick. Now this portion in our canvas is uh, our main canvas where we are actually going to see. On this one, this is the project window where, where uh, our entire composition or anything which we are going to create over here. It will be automatically gonna come over here and this is our timeline which is divided into two sections this area which you are seeing over here is our actual timeline and this portion we will see the name and all the keyframe options on this portion okay so let's try to create our text first and for the text i'm going to select my text tool and you are free to choose whatever font you want i'm going to choose somewhere around davis okay and I'm going to choose a regular version of this font and black color of this font. And let's uh, select our text tool and let's increase the size of this text. And I'm going to type just do it. Okay. And now let's select this text. Now alphabetical distance, which means tracking in this text is too much. So I'm going to click over here, select the tracking and let's try to reduce that value somewhere around like this. Then select this text and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. By holding Ctrl Alt Home, the anchor point is gonna be properly at the center. Anchor point, basically, if you select this pen behind tool, then this option is uh, which is moving is anchor point. Why it is important? For example, if I press R on my keyboard and if I try to rotate it, as you guys can see, it's rotating from the center because the anchor point is at the center. But with the help of pen behind tool, if I try to move this anchor point at this point and now if I rotate it, as you guys can see, we are getting this weird option. So to avoid that, what we generally do, we will select our main object and we will press Ctrl Alt O. So anchor point is automatically come at the center. Now this text is not at the center. I want this properly at the center. So I will select my selection tool. I'll go to the align tab. I'm going to choose align horizontally so it will be at the center in a horizontal way. Then we are going to choose align vertically so it will be at the center in a vertical way. Okay, like that. Now what we need to do over here is that I want to animate this text. So what I'm going to do, I'll animate this text and same animation we are going to use again to create a proper graphical video. Okay, so let's go inside this. Now there are two options, one is transform and one is text text options consider, consist all the text information and transform options which consist all the information which is related to layer for example position scale rotation so currently we don't need that so let's minimize it we'll go to the text so over here you will get this much options out of which for the animation we need to focus on this animate so let's click on this animate and I, what i want is to animate the position so let's see where is the position which is at the third point Let's click on this position. Now after that, you will get one extra section which consists stereo options. Animator 1 because we have added animator. And they are asking to select the position which is going to be the initial position of this text. 
So I bought the initial position of the stack should be downward like that. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, make sure to select the text and go to the paragraph menu and click on the center text. Otherwise, our animation will become a, a little bit clear. Okay, like that. So initial position, let's take a proper value. Let's take 200. Now I want to animate one by one. So for that, we are going to use frame selector. Now, if I increase the start value, it will animate from the start. If I decrease this end value, it will animate from this one. So now I want to animate this from the start. So let's create one keyframe at the start. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, with the help of plus uh, and minus, you can zoom in, zoom out. In between this. And then I'll go to around 120 frame, one point, one second, 20 frames. And I'll make this value 100. Like that. So if you touch space bar, you'll get this kind of animation. Now, this animation is not enough. So, because the keyframes are not, uh, you know, uh, smooth. So, to make it smooth, we are going to select those keyframes. We will right click on it. Um, on the keyframes, so, uh, we are going to select this. Right click. Go to the keyframe assistance. And we need to click on easy ease. Shortcut key is F9. So, and what you can do, simply select those keyframes. And we will hit F9. Okay, like that. Now let's go to the select those keyframes and let's go to the graph editor. Right click and make sure that you are choosing edit speed graph. If by, uh, if by chance your edit your value graph is enabled, your graph will look like this. We don't need that. So we will choose edit speed graph. Okay, like that. So now after this, so this graph basically indicating speed because we have applied easing ease out that's why this graph is like this basically it represents the speed of our action currently initially it's zero as it goes further the speed is maximum at this point then again speed becomes very slow so that's why if we see initially it's slow and then it's fast okay so now let's select this graph and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here at the center and move this handle over here so what this graph indicates that that initially uh, the speed is going to be a very very less and suddenly it will become a fast and after that point the, it will again become slow so if i uh, see this animation we will get something like that okay now after this what we need to do is that uh, along with this there should be a tracking animation as well so i don't need to uh, add another animate even in this animator, we have this option called add, which means basically they are asking for us that uh, along with the position, do you want to animate any extra properties as well? So we will go to the add menu and we'll go to the property and I want to animate tracking. So I'll click on this tracking option and let's reduce the tracking initially. Okay, so now I have two initial properties of this text. One is position and one is tracking. So if I see this now, I'll get something like that. Now, what I want is that uh, there should be some um, uh, thing that should hide uh, this text initially. So for that, what I'm going to do, let's hit U to minimize all of this. I'm going to select this text. I'm going to go in rectangle option and I'm going to click the mask like this on this text. So if you check it out this animation now, we are getting something like that because we have created mask on this text. Now, one thing we need to do is that if we see at the start, the text is still visible. So to fix that, what we can do, we can simply go to the text. We can go to this animator one and position we will move this a little bit more downward. So our text is going to look like that. Okay. Now let's go somewhere around 10 seconds over here. Let's select this text and press S for scaling options. Initial scale is 10. I'm going to make this value 20 and create one keyframe i'll go to around 2.10 frames and let's make this value 100 and select those keyframe we will hit f9 again we'll go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift we'll move this handle over here and we'll move this handle over here like that so if we check it out this animation we will get something like that okay now, what I want is that along with that, there should be some another animations as well, which is should be at the background. So for that, I am first thing first, we will press create one background. So uh, for the background color, I choose white color and simply hit OK and hit OK. And let's bring this downwards. Along with that, select this text and hit Ctrl D, duplicate it. Hit U 
and this time I don't want any scaling keyframe so I'll delete the scaling keyframes basically I have created a duplicate of this layer and over here I am going to change the layer color so it will be easy for us to decide that this is a different layer now for this one I'm going to press F and I try to increase the scale in such a way that it should uh, cover the entire uh, composition so let's see with this text uh, and we have already increased the size again hit ctrl D press V and let's try to bring this upward then again hit ctrl D and let's try to bring this downwards like that I know it looks weird but we'll fix that later okay and now this animation should start to happen when the scaling is happening over here so I'm going to move this over here after this and with the help of opac square bracket as well see the same bring this over here so what will happen you will get this animation over here like that okay and this animation should be behind the or just to text over here now this just to text is not visible so to make it visible what i'm gonna do i'm going to select my rectangle tool uh, over here which is our shape tool and we are going to choose option called fill and hit ok and we will we uh, will choose white color and by holding shift I am going to create one not shift but we will simply create this rectangle and then select this rectangle and again press ctrl alt o to bring this anchor point at the center then we will go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and bring this behind this just to text okay on this star so now if you check it out there you will get zero and then we will get two. okay and now uh, over here if you see the all of the three animations are uh, happening uh, together we don't want that so i take a gap of a uh, few few frames like that and this one should be also like that so there is going to be a little bit gap in this okay so this is how you will get this kind of text animation now along with that there should be some fit in this animation so for that what we can do i'm going to select all of these layers except this white background and I'm going to press Ctrl Shift Sync to pre pull and I'm going to call it as X animation and hit OK. Then we'll go to the Effect and Presets panel and we are going to search for an effect known as Transform Effect. So let's apply that Transform in this dot. You will find this Transform and simply double click to apply. And now basically what transform does is that uh, it will give additional properties like position, scale, and etc. For example, if this text animation, if we hit T on keyboard, which is simply shortcut key for position, we can uh, change the position. But along with this, there is some extra position property. If you move this from here, as you guys can see, we will get something like that as well. So that's the use of transform. But along with this uh, option, for example, if you go in transform properties, we got position, scale and rotation and opacity. But when we apply this transform effect, we will get some additional um, axes as well. For example, this is the option for skew, which we are going to use. Now the skew axis is zero. And if I'm increase this value to 10 or let's say minus six over here, as you guys can see, our text is going to look like that. And if I click on this icon, over here which makes it uh, the extra options also visible like that so if i check it out this animation now you will get this proper animation over here like that and then i'm going to uh, hit n on four second so if you hit n our entire uh, area is going to be up to four second only like that okay if you want you can take even less as well now the color of this animation looks weird to me so what i'm gonna do i'll right click new and create one uh, adjustment layer and i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for effect called tilt and let's double click to apply and now after applying this text effect uh, on the adjustment layer tint what this effect does is that after this adjustment layer whatever layer which has black and white color it will swap this color. for example over here map black 2 is black and map white to white if i swap this as you guys can see now the white becomes black and black becomes white okay and it's not just like you can change this color but you can choose this black color and you can choose a little bit grayish version of this color and you can choose this white color and you can choose something like this neon color as well 
ओके सो इट्स टोटली अप टू यू हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू एनिमेट योर टेक्स्ट वी कैन क्रिएट समथिंग लाइक दैट नाउ दिस इज हाउ यू कैन एनिमेट दिस अदरवाइज इफ यू आर स्पेसिफिक अबाउट योर कलर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ अप्लाइंग दिस टिंट इफेक्ट वॉट यू कैन डू लेट्स हाइड दिस टिंट इफेक्ट फॉर नाउ आई कैन सिलेक्ट दिस वाइट सॉलिड लेयर ओवर हियर I can press Control Shift Y, which is a shortcut key to open the project uh, solid settings, and you can pick up any particular color. For example, I want to pick up this grayish color, and I'll hit OK and hit OK like that. Okay. Similarly, um, while picking up this, press Control Shift Y to select uh, again to open the project solid settings. Go inside this. and select this and hit control c to copy which is a color code and hit okay and hit okay okay so now we have colored for code let's go inside the text animation we need to select this middle shape we need to go to the field and we need to hit control v to copy that color code like that now this text over here which is at the center i'm going to go in my character menu and i choose white color and all the other layers over here i'm going to go in my character menu and for them i'm want this neon green so now if you see over here i'm going to get this kind of a text animation over here now uh, if you enable this uh, we don't need to enable this adjustment layer with ten because now our text is different so i'm going to delete this adjustment layer and i right click new and i'll add another adjustment layer but this time i'm going to go in my effect and presets panel and i am going to search for cc wind trick effect and double click to apply what this effect does is that it will create some uh, blackish uh, reflection on the background like that and you can adjust the angle of view according to your needs okay like that so now if you check it out this animation we will get something like that so this is how you can create this kind of simple text reveal animation inside of after effects